come and weep, as they do now. I'll fight. While little children go hungry, as they do now. I'll fight. While men go to prison, in and out, as they do now. I'll fight. While there is a drunkard left, while there is a poor lost girl upon the streets, while there remains one dark soul without the light of God, I'll fight. I'll fight to the very end. These are the words of William Booth, the founder of the Salvation Army. For today's episode of Ask a CMA, we're continuing in our mini-series, focusing on historical figures throughout the Salvation Army and the importance they played. And there is no more important person in the history of the Salvation Army than its founder, William Booth. William Booth was born in Nottingham, England on April 10th, 1829 to Samuel Booth and Mary Moss. Growing up, William Booth's family was relatively wealthy for the times. Growing up until about the age of 12 to 13, his family was pretty well off. But then something happened. They descended into poverty. And at the age of 13, William Booth was sent to apprentice with a pawnbroker. During his two years in his apprenticeship, Booth converted. He found God. And he started to train himself on how to be a pastor, how to be a preacher. During this time, Booth was, people could see the skills that William Booth had. And they encouraged him to become an evangelist. And William Booth found that he really had a heart for reaching out to those who were living in the streets of Nottingham to reaching out to those who were hurting. So William Booth decided to join the Methodist Church. During this time, William Booth continued to preach and continued to reach out to all those around and to those who weren't being reached by other churches. But William Booth became despondent with the Methodist Church. He wanted to do certain things. He wanted to expand upon the ministry, but the Methodist Church continued to deny William Booth and continued to deny his requests. So William Booth decided to leave the Methodist Church. And when he did, William Booth was actually banned by the Methodist Church from preaching in any of their churches. So William Booth and his wife Catherine decided that since they couldn't go to any church building to preach, that they would go to the people in the streets. And they started off in tents and they would preached the gospel to all those that were around. Particularly in the Whitechapel neighborhood of England, of London, which is probably one of the roughest parts of London during that time. And William and his, his wife Catherine decided that it was time that they kind of made this church bigger. So they started the Christian mission in 1865. The 
Christian mission would go on to be known as the Salvation Army. It got its name from an incident in 1878. William Booth was dictating a letter to his secretary, George Scott, Scott Railton, and said, we are a volunteer army. Bramwell Booth, William Booth's son, heard this and said, I am no volunteer. I am a regular. From that, William Booth instructed his secretary to mark out the word volunteer and instead put the word salvation. From there, the letter read, the Christian mission is a salvation army. And from there, the Christian mission became known as the Salvation Army and it adapted a military style with its own flag, its own uniforms, and even its own music, which they would take old folk songs from the time that would be sang in pubs and they would replace the words with words that glorified Christ. From here, the Salvation Army grew into the worldwide organization, the worldwide mission, the worldwide followers of Christ that it is today. All that started from William Booth, seeing that there was a problem, and letting the Lord show him how to start fixing that problem. The things weren't always easy for William Booth. Whenever he first started it, throughout his ministry, William Booth faced hardships. He would often leave the meetings back whenever it was the Christian mission, even further down the line with bandages on his head, covered in blood from rocks being thrown at him. His uniform and his clothes would be tattered and scarred. But William Booth continued to minister, continued to love, and continued to glorify God. And because he did, because he listened to God and did not hide his faith, the Salvation Army was able to grow and millions of people were able to meet Jesus and be saved through the Salvation Army. While women weep as they do now, I'll fight. While little children go hungry as they do now, I'll fight. While men go to prison, in and out, as they do now, I'll fight. While there is a drunkard left, while there is a poor lost girl upon the streets, while there remains one dark soul without the light of God, I'll fight. I'll fight to the very end. The words of William Booth that I hope we let into our hearts. All right, guys. That was our Ask, an, Ask a CMA episode for this week. Hope y'all are doing well. We are having in-person worship on Sundays at 11 o'clock. We can't do pickups at the moment, but please feel free to come. Make sure you have a mask on and social distance. But guys, I hope y'all are staying safe. Hope you all are enjoying life, finding time to rest, and finding time to grow your relationship with God. God bless.